everybody, Steve from Open Bomb, and let's continue the discussion about um, Open Bomb Design. In the last video, I introduced you to uh, our new design dashboard here. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about how engineers work and how we might manage projects using Open Bomb Design. I'm going to create a project here for my flashlight, which I've done. It's here in my project list. And I want to show you, you know, how I work. I'm, I'm an engineer and I have a folder called flashlight and I've got some stuff in it. It's the folder on my on my C drive. But I, I want to um, upload this to the cloud. I want to make revisions of it. I want to share it with my colleagues. And that's how uh, projects in Open Bomb Design work. So let's just let's go through the process a little bit. I've already created the flashlight project. I want to introduce you to the Workspace Manager. Workspace Manager is an application that runs on your PC that that uploads and downloads data from your PC to projects in OpenBOM Design. So let's let's continue here. First thing I need to do is associate a folder, my flashlight folder, with that flashlight design. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and you can see here the upload button is lit. That's because my flashlight design is, I currently have it checked out. Okay, so I click the check out button. I come over here, upload the files. All right, Open Bomb Design gives me a, I can show a little progress bar if, if, I, if I want to. We can see that there's some uploading uh, going on. It's finished. And I get a little completion message that my, uh, uh, that my data has been uploaded to my flashlight project. So let's see what that looks like. You recall before I had to have the project checked out, which I did. So I, my data is in here. Nobody else can write to this. I check it in. OpenBomb asks me, hey, do I want to make a revision? Of course I do. My baseline revision and a revision is created. So now what do I have? I have my design files off my computer up into the cloud in OpenBomb Design in the Flashlight project. That project can be shared with anybody else on my team. OpenBomb automatically created a revision for me right here, revision one, and it's in, it's in the stack. Okay. So what other things can I do here? Well, I'd like to maybe add a column here to keep track of some notes that go along with these. So I'm going to check out this, I'm going to check out this project so I, so I can make a, uh, so I can make a little change to the screen. So I've got it checked out and I'm going to add, a, I'm going to add a note column over here at the end. Pretty simple. This is just classic open bottom behavior here. I'm going to add a note. And I'm going to put a note in here that says, hey, look, Oleg, you know, take a look at this. Okay. So I've added, I've created a note column, sort of extended the database here. I'm going to check that in. Open oh, Bomb says, hey, you want to make a revision? I think what you're probably noticing is um, when you make a change and you check it back in, Open Bomb is going to promote a, the best use case, which is to create a revision of that project every time you make a change and check it back in. All right. I've got the project checked in. I can see there's an earlier version of it, revision that does not have the note column, and there's a revision two that does have the note column. All right, so I'm gonna ask you to use your, uh, to kind of use your imagination here for just a moment. So let's say now I, I, I become another user on the team. You know, maybe Oleg comes along and he says, hey, look, I, I wanna make some changes. I saw that note, I wanna make some changes. Oleg com uh, comes along here and says, hey, let's, uh, let's, Go to the go to the project uh, for a flashlight. Let's check it out. So as you might think, I'm you know I'm Oleg. I can download the flashlight project onto my computer, and just for a moment, I'm going to put it here in my in my downloads area. That that project is downloaded onto my computer right here. I can do all the work, make make changes to it as as I need to. So Oleg's got the project checked out. He goes and he works along and he decides, hey, you know, I, I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to ask you to use your imagination here for just a moment. I'm going to say Oleg added some designs. He added a spec file, maybe with a spec for the, for the flashlight. He finished his work. He uploads his changes. And by the way, if uh, when we upload and down and when we download data from des uh, from design, we only bring those files that have changed. So now he's 
uh, my colleague Oleg is putting this data back up. We will see here in just a minute that the uploader will complete and we'll have a notice telling us that the uh, that all the new the, the new files, any changed files, any files that were added, any specification folders or any other structure that was added, all of this is brought back up to design. All right, so there we see it. Look, that's done. We can take a look at that. And we see, all right, here's our new, uh, here's my flashlight project. Got my new specification folder has been linked in. Got my new specification here. I want to take a look at what that looks like. I have it right there. And finally, Oleg can say, hey, you know, updated this file. Check it in. Make a revision. So in the end, what do we have? We've picked up some data off my computer. No longer need to store it on my C drive. Checked it into OpenBOM project. Added, extended the data, added some notes. Shared it with a colleague who downloaded it to their computer, made some changes, up uploaded it. And what we end up with is a project with complete history. Here I added the, this, and here you can see that uh, Oleg added the rest of the data. With a complete history, and I can do that for any project that I'm working, working on. So if you're like me and you store your projects in uh, desktop folders, uh, this, is gonna be, uh, this is going to be the answer for you. So anyway, th uh, thanks for listening. We're, we're going to have more... Um, more information coming on this soon. This is a September 2023 release. Thanks.